Next up, let's try and talk a little bit about stakeholder types. Now, each customer meeting will have various types of people involved, representing various functions in the company. And it's important to understand what is most important for them in this process. And of course, if you can identify who has kind of the weight in the company or who has the final say, then you need to address that person's uh, primary concerns as the most important thing. But this obviously varies from company to company and also in how digitally mature the company is. So let's try and run through some of these stakeholder archetypes the way we see them. So first off is the CMO. So the chief marketing officer is the one which has to focus on the content and commerce. So this is where we're showcasing how they can represent the brand in the best way possible, how they can give the much control and flexibility to the team so that they can actually manage their web presence and consequently their brand. So this is where CMS is key for this archetype. So obviously when e-commerce has a catchphrase that says content and commerce connected, we often run into this uh, personality when we're having these sessions. Luckily for us, I would say that there is a global trend that CMOs get more and more to say about the choice of platform, the choice of technology in these types of processes, where earlier it's been very much IT driven on system architecture that has been the most important thing. But now we can focus on the content, we can focus on how can my team control my store and then consequently my brand. Another thing that's important for the CMOs are the personalization. It is an important topic to address because everyone wants to create that personalized experience. And luckily, a number of the CMSs that e-commerce cater to or integrate to has actually personalization capabilities built in. And this is something that we emphasize a lot during our customers' demos. Another important thing is, of course, our marketing foundation. So you can show a wide and flexible range of discount options, vouchers, free freight, uh, shipping options, all of these kind of things so that the CMO gets a feeling that whatever kind of initiative or marketing campaign they come up with, the technology of the platform does not stand in the way of the getting that campaign realized. Another thing that is important for the CMO is, of course, monitoring what progress, what effect these initiatives have. So something like Dashboard, something like Google Analytic integration, something like our integration with Trendseam, so we visually can represent what is going on. We very much hope that our recent initiative with the dashboard and the live feed of what is actually going on in your store right now can help cater to that experience of connecting the CMO to their web store and connecting them to their brand and their selling on the store. They will more often not require some sort of guidance on the commerce uh, opportunities and what you can actually do. So it's very important to challenge their imagination and say, well, there's no limitations to what you can do with e-commerce. It is something that you need to build, but a lot of it is out of the box already. So one of the other archetypes that we meet is, of course, the CIO. So the CIO has is kind of like a hybrid between the marketing organization, but also the CTO. So this is a person that has a technical background. So we're focusing on the technical integration aspects of the project. Of course, again, the content and commerce story is important. They don't need to focus on that kind of integration between the CMS and their commerce platform. They, can f they know that data is flowing freely in between there, and they can focus on the bigger picture of having the ERP integrated as well, a CRM integrated as well, and they more often than not want the ERP to be the central hub and have control of it. These are, this is typically both in, in B2B projects, but they can also happen in, uh, in B2C. Uconnector becomes a key story for the CIO because the CIO is, is tying up the whole system architecture 
and something like a data merger sitting in the middle and, and transferring data back and forth between systems is very much key. Typically for the CIO, the CMS is just one component in a larger architecture and not as important, but the integration piece is important. So integration between the CMS and the commerce platform, between the commerce platform and the ERP, making sure the whole line of business is supported. That is very important for the CIO. If you're looking at the VP of sales, VP of commerce, anyone with, uh, with any kind of revenue involved in their title, then of course this is also very important to focus on the possibilities that this will come. Because commerce has the advantage that you can actually set up measurable return on investments on these. So this is where we want to focus on how much are you actually getting back? How much can you measure on this? What opportunities do your team have to actually produce a revenue share, revenue numbers from, from this solution? And this is where the e-commerce platform become less of a marketing thing, but more of a business driver. So this whole global trend around, for instance, B2B companies trying to sell directly to B2C is something that we will be able to cater for for the VP of sales. They can see both the benefits of actually increasing their sales by adding on new sales channels, but they will also often be able to see that they can also save money when they, with implementing automated processes to facilitate this sale. So... The VP of sales, the VP of commerce, if he is not or he or she is not the most important person today, they will become the most important person.